we are learning about the principle of design of balance and we're going to be creating artwork that has radial balance where that symmetry goes all the way around a center point um, and we're going to be creating our own scratch art paper uh, for this project and the first step for that is on our paper we need to pick a color and we need to draw a circle right in the middle of the paper and then we're going to color it by pressing down hard we want to fill that circle in all the way so that there are no white spaces showing if you do not press down hard or you do not color it in all the way when you go to scratch off that top layer of paint the colors that come through are not going to be very bright it won't be as interesting or as special as it could be. So you wanna make sure you press down hard. After you do one color, then you're just gonna draw another circle around it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and then you're gonna do the same thing again. You are going to color in that whole ring by pressing down hard. So I would take my time. I'm not gonna just scribble like this because that's going to leave a bunch of little white spaces. I'm going to take my time and make sure I'm getting a completely solid layer of color that is really bright and really thick. You're going to notice as you are working that you will get little oil pastel crumbs that kind of show up on your paper. And what you want to do what you want to do when you are working is make sure that you kind of dust them off in between colors. So I'm not going to I'm not going to blow my crumbs off because it might those crumbs might fly into the face of somebody else at my table. Um, I also don't want to like press really hard to wipe them off because then it's going to smear my artwork and mess it up. So instead, the best way to get rid of those little crumbs is to just very gently tap your paper on the table. You don't need to make a lot of noise. And if they won't all come off, you can also really lightly just kind of dust them off onto the table. And I will have little brooms that you can use to sweep up those crumbs off of your table before you move on to the next color. For this next step, I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video really fast so that you can see me filling in all of the circles all the way around the artwork and then I will talk to you again at the very end. Once you draw your biggest circle that you can fit on your paper, you're going to go ahead and start drawing circles that go off the page. So I can't fit another full circle onto my paper, but I can draw a curve like this and like this that looks like a circle. It's just going off the page a little bit. Now that I'm finished coloring all of my circles and I've pressed down really hard, I've got a really solid bright color um, over all of my paper, I'm ready to just check, make sure that I don't have any more crumbs. I can do a little dust with my hands, get any loose pieces off, and then I will be ready to paint a black layer on top of all of my colors. <laughs> 